I absolutely love building Raspberry Pi and Arduino projects, but when all's said and done, they usually wind up in a box somewhere. So I built this. Every single bit of the wood you see here was either reclaimed from a construction project or I found it in a dumpster. To me though, this thing is so much more than a desk. I want this thing to inspire people. Whether you walk into my office or stumble across my YouTube channel, I want the concepts of coding and electronics to come to life. I've built a platform and I'm going to open source the whole thing. There's dozens of things we can learn from every single panel that goes in here, and I'm going to give you all the code and all the plans for free. And best of all, when this thing fills up, the panels are swappable so we can come up with new and creative ways to put this thing to use. So stick around and I'm going to show you how I built the thing and be sure to hit subscribe and click that bell so you can see all the cool panels we're going to build together. So this is the desk area as I'm starting off. You can see it's this desk that kind of goes around the corner over here. I don't really use it a ton primarily because the air conditioner points straight on it. Did my little layout here in tape just to kind of get some measurements, especially for that corner where I cut the corner. I wanted to really um, decide how wide I wanted to make those panels in there. And then I'm going to be clearing everything off the top here because I'm actually going to take the shelf down so I can screw in from the top and just make sure that everything's super straight. I don't want to do any toe nailing or toe screwing where things are going to kick to the side. I want them to be just dead on. Okay, it's a little sad to see this area cleared out, but it is cleared out. TVs are gone. Uh, most of the wires have been pinned to the wall and stuff like that. Again, keeping the network active. I have my server over here connected to the monitor from my laser cutter. All the other stuff is piled over here. Now it's time to get these lights off and get this board off so I can have better access to the top. So here I am partway through the process. You can see that I have uh, this 11 inch off the wall right here. And coming down here, I have my uh, three panels plus some space at the top I'm gonna to do some stuff with. My TV, two more panels, three more panels, my space up top. And then over here, uh, that's not screwed in at the moment. I've got three panels coming up here plus some space at the top. And then this, I sort of wish I wouldn't have done this, uh, but doing this corner has been a royal pain in the butt. Um, I wound up coming in here and putting parallel two by fours. So basically like I can slide, let me get that back in there. I can slide that up and down and let it ride on those two by fours that way, which as you can see, kind of makes a little bit of a funky angle back here. Um, Anyway, so I've got some work to do. I'm sure that's not going to be a perfect reveal uh, on those corners because nothing I'm working with is straight, but we'll, uh, except the stuff I did, um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see how it goes. One piece of advice I have for you is never hesitate to make a jig when you want to repeat something. I made this Cornerator 3000 to help me make sure that all the screw holes are in the same place. Okay, so my lovely wife painted these things and uh, I wanted to show you a little bit about what's back here. Um, starting over here, I have an HDMI, uh, switch and I'm going to use that for Raspberry Pis and things that are contained in here. And, uh, you can see I've got this little IR emitter here and that's because I have an IR repeater over here so that anything I use a remote control on, it'll blast these signals back here. I have a whole bunch of these emitters so that anything will work back here. Um, up top, I have an eight port gigabit switch and the Raspberry Pi that does all of the MQTT and node right in my office. I put some um, power strips up top along with the big seven foot one down here at the bottom. So I have kind of power all over the place. Um, over here, I have a one to four VGA splitter so that um, the VGA signal from the computer can go all over the office. Over here, I have a Netgear ProSafe um, that's a PoE switch, so it's gigabit, and four of those ports have power over Ethernet. And then just another power strip up here, and I'm getting ready to load this thing down with some equipment. And there you have it. I'm going to show you a few extra pictures from the construction, but as you can see, it turned out exactly as I engineered it. So I hope this excites you about the channel. I hope it excites you about building some fun stuff, and I uh, hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.